this is the current state of my filming table. And yes, there's a glove there, a leather glove and some journals and some of my personal journals in the back. But I wanted to share with you guys this new furniture piece or decorative furniture piece that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's like a little shelving unit. I love the vintage look of it. I like to store the journals that I'm going to be putting up for sale in these little cubbies. These have yet to be finished and my little journals are finished. So that's a little sneak peek to the journals that will be shared. There's my honeycomb journal as well as some other bits and pieces to create my next personal journal. And then on my working desk or my filming desk, I have tiles, a little card for filming, just a ton of paper, and some Mod Podge that I'm using for my current project. And of course, my big shot in an embossing folder. This is an embossing folder that I love using on my journals. It's really beautiful. It gives a beautiful effect. This is how the paper looks like when you pass it through an embossing folder. On the side of my desk, I went to an estate sale and I actually purchased some of this. It looks like wallpaper and it is. It is vintage and it's actually adhesive, so it's kind of like washi tape. It's really cool. I'm gonna continue to work on these journals and then I will show you little sneak peeks um, when they are finished. So I have three stacks here, as you can see, three stacks, and these are going to go into my journals. And the way that I separate the stacks is that one stack is just writing paper, another stack is just pockets, and then another stack is decorative paper. And that's kind of what I like to do on some journals. It doesn't work for all of them because sometimes I do different things for different journals, of course. But I thought this would be a really nice tip for you guys who you're starting off making journals or if you want to make your own. It's really nice to put everything into stacks. That's what I like to do. And the reason I have scissors on this little stack, as you can see, it kind of pops up like an accordion. These are some wicked old vintage um, papers. And the way that they were packaged was in a roll, similar to wallpaper. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer for them to lay flat. And then once we're finished with these notebooks, I can start on the next set. So wish me luck and let's see how far or how much work I get done today. These are the covers of the hardcover journals that I've collaged. A little sneak peek. The real magic is on the spine, or at least what I think is so cute and what makes these so special. And this one, this is some really old vintage wallpaper. All of them have like a little snippet of wallpaper. And then here are little sneak peeks of some small little fabric bundles that I'm making. You can see pink and red, perfect for Valentine's Day. And then some more French linens. This one has little dragonflies on it. Beautiful colors. I wanted to offer some really cute little fabrics that you could use to create tabs. Like these little tabs on the sides. And maybe some fabric pockets. You know, those little things. I just think they're so cute. And they're going to come with some ribbon and some buttons. And I use the same fabric to decorate the tabs and to make the ruffles on these journals and on the other 10 to 12 that I ended up making as well. So I can't wait to show you the finished result. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, that was some cardio in the morning, some journaling cardio. <laughs> so I have six wallpapers in front of me. I'm going to quickly turn the camera around to show you. I just have to make some ephemera, which is one of my favorite parts because I get to decorate the journal with my little tidbits that I have. Just finished the ephemera and I can start filming the video to show you guys the finished journals. I'm so excited, you guys. The smallest journal is the size of like my hand and I have very small hands. And the biggest one is the size of a traveler's notebook. So I can't wait to show you. I'm so excited. That's my new little furniture piece or storage space 
for my journals when I complete them and I showed you in the beginning of the video so let me go ahead and show you some sneak peeks to the traveler's notebooks that are finished so let's go there's one two three and number three is where the journal charms are the Valentine's Day journal charms that I can't wait to share with you guys as well and then this is all of the notebooks there's some in the back there as well these are the wallpaper rolls that I was carrying from my storage closet to my desk super pretty super pretty um, some fabric that needs to be made into tags and they will be going inside of these beautiful journals I was working on this journal right here. When you're working with that shabby chic style, that vintage style of laces, pastel colors, that linen and lace style that we all love, sometimes it can be difficult working with sequins and trying to incorporate them harmoniously with laces. But if you're like me, I love mixing styles together and there's no rules when it comes to creating your journals. With these journals that I'm working on now, I want the sequins to be a decorative element. So I have to go, unfortunately, I know, I wish I could be here all day, but I have to go and get these journals done for you guys. So until next time, I hope that you guys have an amazing day filled with peace and love, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.